Francisco Ottawa Blues Fest World Gospel Jam 2011 with Sean McDonald. Hello. Hello. Sean, <laughs> only seven years ago, you're still kind of a baby in the music industry. Mm -hmm. uh, seven years ago, your debut album, Simply Nothing. Mm -hmm. Being that you're still very new, who are your influences? Oh, man. Um, I have lots of influences. I mean, kind of before I was like doing this on a national level, um, I'm definitely a big Ben Harper fan. Um, Cat Stevens. I like a lot of old folk. Um, but then I'm, I, I don't know, I've progressed a lot into like kind of newer music as well. But I, I kind of, I tend to listen to almost anything and everything that's out there just so I have an understanding of what is happening, you know, musically. And, and then I kind of just take little bits here and there and kind of mm -hmm. try to create my own. So when thing. you're seeing what's happening musically, do you mean like you try to think of what sells too? Like what would be popular? Uh, um, you know, I, I, I do want to know what's happening, what is like, what kids are connecting with and people in general and just what's happening musically and what's out there. Um, at the same time, you know, like typically most of that stuff is not what really gets me going. You know, I'm more of like, I, I've been freaking out over like Mumford and, Mumford and Sons and the new Bon Iver record and that kind of stuff that, that really gets me inside. But um, I'm very like, I love melody and music um, in that sense. But I, I do like hooks and pop and all that stuff too. So I'm I'm just kind of all over the place. But I love orchestra and just jazz. And have you heard yeah. the term organic before? I get told that a lot. Yeah, I've heard that t yeah. term a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I've heard correctly, you didn't grow up dreaming to be a, mm. a famous musician, a professional musician. So how is it then that you're able to find your own artistic flavor? Well, um, I think when when like when I started writing songs, it kind of the one of the reasons I started writing them is because I felt like there was a void in, in at least in the Christian industry of like music that like was about like faith and love and life and just real things mm -hmm. there wasn't a lot of it I felt like out there that was really getting deep and honest and, and whatnot and so I started writing songs because I felt like there wasn't those songs there already be sung and so I started writing these songs in hopes that I could like kind of fill a little bit of a void that I didn't feel like was happening and um I just didn't really relate to a lot of the lyrically. Yeah, Christian music that mm -hmm. was out there it was lots of happy, happy stuff, which is great, you know. But there's, there's, you know, life is so much broader. Than well, that, and your you know. your story is so powerful, and it's again, it's still very new. It's still very recent. How did you start singing and songwriting? Like, was there a moment where you're like, okay, all of a sudden, like, I'm gonna sing and, and do this for God? Um, well, it, it it wasn't like a moment. Um, it, it started out of a um, I, I just really loved to worship and and so I, I was you know I, I became a believer at age 19 and and I was going to this church and uh, it was kind of a college group that I was involved with and I just really found a lot of um, peace and joy and in things and just the worship experiences we were having there and it was kind of right at the cusp of the worship movement and it hadn't really hit yet and so it was just really raw and honest and um, and so I'd go to my worship leader and I would ask for the chord sheets and and I um, had this old guitar I'd had for years that I'd never really know, knew how to play or played or anything and, and so I'd take the chord sheets home and I'd, I would learn the chords and, and play the songs kind of in the quiet of my house and my room and and I just, somewhere in there, I just started writing kind of my own versions of songs and kind of doing that whole thing and um, and kind of kept it to myself. I didn't really even share it. I was just something I did. And, and then I kind of slowly started sharing with friends and they kind of encouraged me to share it, share it with others. Got a little and, more transparent with, yeah. your, with the truth that you're writing about. Mm. Well, it's it's one of those things. It's like, it was such a, it, like writing music for me is such a personal like thing that, um, it was very scary to share mm -hmm. that that because it's so vulnerable for me. Like, cause I, I just I, I'm, I'm like I pour out myself in my songs, and so I, I definitely wasn't looking to do that. And I'm 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 not as scared as I used to be. I've kind of gotten over some of that, but um, I definitely went through a pretty se like pretty heavy like season of just kind of not liking to be in front of people. I still don't like to be in front of people, but <laughs> well, you're yeah, here, please yeah. pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, in your experience being a songwriter, what advice could you give to aspiring songwriters as to what's the best way to write a song? Wow. Um, you can keep it short if you yeah, want. I don't mean yeah. you. To, I don't want to get too deep if you don't want to. But yeah, I just, no. I think I don't know. I don't know if there's a formula. Yeah, I mean there is a formula. I mean Nashville is really good at the formula, <laughs> but you know there's a formula that works. But I, I don't know. It just depends on what you want to do. You know, if you want to be a pop guy and you want to just write hooks and you want those songs that get stuck in people's head for a moment, you know, like 
in, maybe you go that direction. But if you want songs that live and last and like really go deeper into people, um, I feel like you just need to get honest and talk about like the reality of your life. And, and I think those were, those songs come from real living and and whatnot. And I've always been someone that I, I kind of my approach to music is just like you can entertain a person in a night and they'll leave happy and excited and be entertained. But if you do something that is lasting and impacting and really moves them inside, like it, it will go way further than just entertainment and so I've always kind of tried to take that approach and um, and yeah and do you feel your most recent album closer does that I do yeah okay. it's it's okay. definitely a, um, it's, it's a very vulnerable record for me but very yeah. cool. mm -hmm. well I appreciate the time yeah yeah thanks yeah, yeah enjoy thanks. Blues Fest crowd Hello. the new album closer Sean McDonald. looking for love in a drop of rain. 